More than two months since Sandy, today brings an important yet difficult step toward recovery along the Jersey Shore. Residents of some, some of the Barrier Islands who didn't lose their homes completely in the storm are being allowed to return full time. Of course, life there will be dramatically different. News 4's Lori Bordenero is in Brick Township, where some of the first residents did return this morning. Lori? Good afternoon, Erica, and this is what people are coming home to. Piles of sand and debris. There is major damage here, so even though they can come back, there are still major challenges ahead. It's a bittersweet homecoming. Residents finally allowed to move back to Brick Township after Sandy slammed the Jersey Shore more than two months ago. When you drive down uh, north here through Manilokeng, it's shocking to see the devastation. Dave Rento has been driving down here from North Jersey every day, hoping to rebuild. The basement and deck of his beachfront home were destroyed. This was like seven feet of sand throughout this whole room. It's as if time has stood still along this serene stretch of beach. Furniture is still in place, but the sheetrock is completely gone. This one's being, they're both being torn down in the next day or two. And the work is keeping contractors busy seven days a week. The devastation, I mean, seeing all the houses sunken in and twisted upside down, it's uh, quite an experience. For safety reasons, there are restrictions for those moving back in. Access to all streets except Route 35 will be for residents, contractors, and government personnel. A curfew will be in effect from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. Access to the beach is limited, and a 25-mile-per-hour speed restriction is in effect. Also, Route 35 north of the Mantaloking Bridge is still closed, so you do need to exit there at the bridge. Again, there's a lot of work to be done here. Many of these homes will be torn down, so even though residents are allowed to return, it may be a while before they actually come back. We're live in Brick Township. Lori Bordenero, News 4 New York. Okay, Lori, thank you. The morning ride to school.